Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. So this, if I'm not mistaken, may be the first type of conversation we're having about free diving. And we are joined this morning via phone by Javon Billington, Ballington rather. And Javon's going to be speaking to us about his free diving experience and what his aim is for an upcoming competition. Good morning, Javon, and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for the welcome. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the show this morning. Javon, before we get into anything, tell us what free diving is. All right, well, um, free diving is basically any form of breath hole underwater without the assistance of any breathing apparatus, such as scuba tanks. And, um, yeah, such as scuba tanks. Okay, and how did you get involved in free diving, Javon? Uh, initially, I was smaller. I would say peer pressure into spear fishing, well, trying spear fishing with some mm -hmm. friends of mine. And ever since then, I just fell in love with the sport as a whole. All right. Well, this is quite interesting, especially as you mentioned, from peer pressure to falling in love, because clearly you are. You have a plan on setting a brand new record at this competition. And this is the reason, of course, you're with us via phone this morning as you're in Dominica. Tell us a little bit about the AIDA Blue Element Depth competition that you are getting ready for. All right. So this competition is basically, well, AIDA is basically the governing body for freediving in terms of safety and new um, protocols, they actually can officialize any record attempt, such as national records, etc. Um, you could do multiple disciplines, such as constant weight bifins, which is basically you're wearing a set amount of weight on your wetsuit, like let's say two pounds, and you're kicking to a particular depth following a rope, while being attached to the rope, I mean, yeah, while being attached to a rope, slash lanyard, as we call it. Um, that's one discipline. There's another discipline called constant weight, no fins, where you would free dive to a particular depth, let's say 30 meters, with just, well, with no fins on. You could you have the option of using a mask or not using a mask. And there's another discipline called free immersion where you basically pull on the rope instead of kicking to the particular depth and then return to the surface. So I'll be competing in all three disciplines and hopefully, well, not hopefully, but I'm definitely setting a national record for each. Okay, and um, can you share with, what record are you hoping to set? Do you have your um, sight set on a particular time or a particular depth? Well, what I would say is, it'll be well over 50 meters. Oh. I'll leave it as a surprise, but it'll be over 50 meters for sure. Well, we look forward to seeing that surprise, of course, come to life. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know, Javon, how, how long can you hold your breath for? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, last time I tried, I held my breath for five minutes and 30 seconds, so, but I was in a pool. Though. It's much harder to hold your breath that long while moving. Okay. Wow. We are all gobsmacked this morning on the No Morning Show. You say you held your breath for five minutes. But as you said, it could be a bit more challenging, of course, when you are going under water. Tell us something. What sort of training regime do you have to go through to be able to get to that point? Well, actually, um, I'll put it this way in summary. We're all capable right, of doing these same feats. It's actually something we call the mammalian dive reflex that's found in animals and aqu yeah, aquatic mammals. It's basically your body as a survival mechanism. It starts to, when you're holding your breath in water, you get a blood shift, your heartbeat slows down, your vision narrows, your spleen contracts and starts producing more red blood cells. A whole list of... um. A whole list of things actually happen to your body, but it's not something that's unique to just me. Everybody could do it. And um, some people with little as two or three days of doing a freediving course could achieve great depths, like 20 meters, 30 meters. So it's all about just understanding the process 
and staying relaxed and I guess being certified by a legitimate instructor. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. And of course, it's always fascinating to hear the way the body works, but um, I'll probably check back with you on that five minutes being able to hold your breath for, especially under water. <laughs> um, now, you, I want to go back to your journey where you began. You said that there was some peer pressure, but now, of course, you are definitely in love with this sport and you're here with us this morning. When did you first start with freediving? I would say somewhere around... Well, actually, that's a very good question, too, you know, because right now I cannot separate. When somebody asks me, when did I start freediving, I'm in a cross, crossroads of answering, do I start when I, do I say when I began spearfishing or actual freediving? Because there is a difference. Okay, so when did you well, start spearfishing? Spearfishing spear fishing would be somewhere between 2015 and 2016, somewhere okay, so there. You're so you're on the cusp of 10 years, let's say, in the water. Perhaps that's a more fair statement to make. Yes, correct. All right, um, tell us something. Really... What, is, what is next for you, Javon? After you sat, set this national record, what's next for you when it comes to freediving? Well, after I set this national record here, I'm hoping to come back home, continue teaching, because I'm also a freediving instructor, and... I look forward to continue training and hopefully encourage other persons to take up freediving as a sport. And we could probably form a team or association or something because apparently it's just Trinidad that's behind in the whole freediving aspect. Mm. But my goal is to continue competing and continue setting more records and teaching along the way. Well, it's great to hear that. Now, aside from, of course, being a freediving instructor, you are also an emergency medical technician. Do you think that being trained as a technician has assisted you on your journey as a freediver? Mentally, yes. And actually, practically and mentally, yes. I'll tell you why. So, um, after doing that EMT course, I would have, uh, <laughs> I would have been aware, of course, um, all the extra dangers and all the things I took for granted, like, for example, going diving without having an AED, like, let's say, teaching a class, or teaching a class without having oxygen readily available, or, let's say, spearfishing without thinking about uh, common stuff that I can bring along, like a tourniquet, in case somebody gets shot by a mistake in their tie or something. These kinds of, I guess the training really opened my eyes to the possibilities and the dangers, the extra dangers that we took for granted. So now um, I, I guess it made me a much safer instructor and spare fisherman. Okay. This is, I mean, you mentioned some things that have shown this is also can be something that is extreme. So... Good to see that you have that safety on board, which, of course, is essential. I just want to go back to one of the things that you mentioned, Javon, which is your intention when you come back in the future to create some sort of group and, of course, really bring free diving forward into the, um, into the space, into society as well, and raise that awareness. What benefits do you think that's going to bring to free diving in Trinidad and Tobago? Well, firstly, um, I think it will benefit tourism because especially in Tobago we have beautiful blue crystal clear water and we have access to a lot of depth not as much as Dominica but people will definitely come to do snorkeling spear fishing free diving it could even open up job opportunities for people who would like to be athletes or people who would like to do spear fishing underwater photography Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Because I mean, we're water people here, and it's just people don't have access to the education, the free diving education, to really excel. Because I will tell you this, right? Um, in Tobago, there are a lot. There are a lot of very talented free divers who never did a free diving course. Yeah. And um, I think, hopefully, because the goal is hopefully. This would spark some interest in some persons to really try and see if they could get a course done and basically push their limits to see how deep they could go. 
Definitely. Looking forward to having you back on the show soon. Um, of course, to celebrate the setting of the record, which should be coming soon. And of course, setting up the future for freediving in Trinidad and Tobago. Javon, thank you and all the best. Looking forward to chatting again. Hi, right, thanks. Get familiar with Javon Ballington, who plans to set a new record at the Ida Blue Element Depth Competition happening for April 18th to 25th in Dominica. We have some more on the show for you. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this break.